Hi Cancerians! Welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. Welcome, welcome, welcome! <laughs> so, um, before we start, so we're gonna do your oracle card right here and then a tarot card over here. So for people who's wondering um, how it's gonna work, um, this is you, this is the Cancerian. And then in extended, I make it easier for this one and simpler. Um, we look for the person of interest and then, you know, this is you and then this is us, you know, that, that series. So that's them and then we'll see if there is an us between the two of you. So there's going to be a combining card where we'll see, oh, how it works on your end and their end and then that's in the extended. So that's that. Uh, make sure you check us out at itchylove.me. I've been busy. So I've been making my, um, amulets such as this. So this is my, my fir very first one. This is the Golden Angel Hair Amulet. So you can check it out. Um, so there's a lot of things that I've been very, very busy as you can see right here and there. Um, so check out itchylove.me. We have a big launching coming this week. So make sure you subscribe to our email list so that you guys get the first Pizzazz the buzz, all right? So that's that. Let's see what's going on for my concerns. Uh -huh. So if you want to know also what's up, then Instagram is where I'm going to be found. If I'm not here, I am there and I post there regularly. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Confident and strong. Right. She knows what she wants and she gets it. She's single. <laughs> That's the Nine of Pentacles. She's brave also because, uh, um, what? She's not scared of anything. Because um, she's physically healthy. So, mindset wise, uh, like. I've never been this feeling better in my life, you know, that, that kind of energy, Nine of Pentacles. I'm um, feeling complete, energized, um, let me see what else she has, okay. Um, you know, it's like, I want to buy a home, I want to settle here now, I'm ready to make a, you know, there's a big deal that you want right now. Um, I feel like it's more of like where to settle, it can be like relocating. Um, it feels like I'm ready to have a family, is what you're saying. Um, it's not because your, your biological clock is up. It feels like you have, let's just say, you've gone to the uni, university, you've done the work, you know, the whole um, corporate nine to five, you hustle, okay? And then now you're saying, well, I'm ready for something serious. I wanna come home to someone. I wanna be with that person I can call mine. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. She good, 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 good for the first card. First card is strongest. So you're coming in very healthy, very, very, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Health is wealth. Mm. Confident, right? Mm. Works late over time. Nine of Pentacles. Mm. Works late. Knight of Swords. Okay. It feels like you've given up talking to someone. Because mm -hmm. remember, this is all you. Mm. You've given up on them. You feel like it's useless to talk to this person. It never goes up to anything. It always leads to a disaster. And right now you're just saying, I'd rather keep my my, my mouth shut there. Not the silent treatment. Gemini did that. You know, they had silent treatment read. Here, it's just um, looking that you have lost hope with talking to them. And that's why you've considered being single. Mm -hmm. They're not talking to me. I'm not going to talk to them. And if I talk to them, they claim that I'm harsh because the Knight of Swords is harsh. So you're actually saddened by giving up. Mm. It's, it's Jon Snow. Jon Snow gave up. 
So you give up on them. No contact, no communication whatsoever because they're just too difficult to talk to. Nine of Cups. And lately, you have been more happy than ever. Okay. You giving up unlocked opportunities in your life. You giving up, you gave yourself a chance to feel good about yourself. You know how people go into the roundabout, like relationship makes them happy. Now you're seeing yourself, it's like, wait, so I can be happy without that person and, I, and life is good? Oh wait, life is good. Mm -hmm. Life is better without them. This is what you're saying. It feels like there's more chance for you to explore your emotional side because I feel like they can call you harsh things with the Nine of Swords. They just say, oh, you're overly emotional. You know, they never really cared on stepping on that sensitive side of yours. And for you, it's just like, so I can't be who I am when I'm around you because you can't accept me for who I am. Do you understand me? So they never cared about your feelings and it came to the point where I'm not going to deal with it. You're not going to treat me like that. And then that's at Knight of Swords. And then now it's like, wait, so I can be me, get everything all I want, and I don't have to be with them, and I feel good? This is good. See that? She happy. She getting her wishes. Mm. Ace of Swords. Okay. Victory is what they call it, Ace of Swords, because it has a crown. Ace of Swords with the Nine of Cups, you're winning. Yeah. You're winning. The Ace of Swords can be documents. That's my document card, visa, passport, um, anything legal. So if, you, if there's a legal battle, you might win it with the Ace of Swords, of course. That's, Ace, that's victory. Clarity is what you have right now. You've seen the light. That being with them was a little bit harsh for your um, flavor, you know, your cup of tea. You know, it's like it doesn't work with you. It's just sort of like you cut them off. Because mm -hmm. you deserve better. Nine of Cups. You realize that. Knowledge dumps the mind oppresses then okay. There's weird words. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you found the truth. Nine of Pentacles. Um with the nine with the knowledge card. You found out the truth. Like you're woke. You're woke with this um you're empowered that being with them, you know, it's like, I know you want, there was someone that you were dealing with. That's why, you know, you get the Knight of Swords there. But here, you're also figuring out that I want to be in a relationship with, with the right one. Does it make sense now? So you had an awakening that that person was not good for you. And now you're saying here, because there's that light over there, and then there's circle over here. It's like, I deserve to be respected. I deserve someone better. So there's some truth and knowledge that you're understanding now. So this is now working, not this. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, I don't know how people think if it's here. Okay. There's no nothing there except wonderful. Okay. Stock. It looks the same. That's so cool. Knight of Swords with the stock. Okay. So you know already you deserve better. Nine of, Knight of Swords, you've given up. It feels though, okay, no matter what you do, there is some feelings inside you that you cannot let go with them. So, there's the swords. You've cut them off. But then, by the end of the day, it's like, but why do I still think about this person? Why? It's like... I've already given up. I see you. I'm happy. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do with my life. And I know what's the right one for me. But why do I feel that I'm stuck with them? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. 
rebirth with the Nine of Cups. You're constantly trying to give, you're trying to justify what you're having right now with your life. Like, I'm more happy, I'm good. I'm more this, I'm good, you know. You're basically lying to yourself, okay? Because that's an ace of swords with the knowledge. You found out the truth that, oh, hey, I'm not happy with them. They were abusive with me. But then, is this just a lie? Because why am I still thinking about them? Rebirth with the Nine of Cups, it feels like you're trying to reinvent yourself every day. Constantly. Just so that you can forget them. Mm -hmm. Temptation. Everybody's getting this. Last guy. And that's my card of, ooh, I know they're bad for me. But I know, you know, the Ace of Swords, like, I know I got them all, but it's hard to resist. You see? I told you, you can't go even though you're saying you're gonna go. This is when you say, we're done, we're done, I'm not gonna be with you anymore. And then next thing you know, they're gonna do something, and it's like, man, I still wanna be with this person. It, it feels wrong, but it feels right. There you go. That's this person. Okay, that's just your energy towards this person. Okay? So, I'll continue the reading. Okay? In the extended, I'm just going to go to the person itself. So, you're done here. If this is you, follow me in extended. I'll check what their, what, you know, what's their energy about. And then you make your judgment. And at the same time, I'm going to put the two of you together in the this is us part where we see if it's going to work out. So make sure you check out um, in the description box, for, description box for everything you need. And then everything at eTreatLove.me is right here. Uh, my big pieces coming soon. And of course, my lovely, lovely amulets. All right? Bye, guys. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm going in circles, going in circles. I should get away from here. There's a better place for me, better place for me Trying to play my symphony But there's so much noise around, so much noise around Constantly fighting for space I wanna be empty, be empty